Okay, so Doc Cam's still up. Miki is, uh, her name is Pei today. Still don't know when Rocket's going to be home, but uh, we'll see. Those walls are dubious. Hey, Ring, welcome back. Which walls are dubious? These? These walls look perfectly fine. We already got all the stuff we needed from them. So we're done in here, aren't we? Yeah, I Looks think so. Good. Yeah, I don't see any other doors. No Robocop? No Robocop. Welcome back, Ray. Just click on the window, we can get out of here. Okay, now we have to go kill some innocent bystanders to uh, make the guards look guilty. Don't think there's any guards left to make her look guilty, but... Did you say we have to? Well, we sh Well, it's a quest, it's experience, so I would classify that as I have to. I think it's purely optional. Does it say optional? <laughs> you gotta make sure it says optional. Hell, even if it does, it doesn't matter. I'm like with dialogue options. Just because the line to click is there doesn't mean you have to. But it says kill bystanders. Optional. I'm guessing it means the bystander's name is optional and there's three twins. Triplets. So we have to kill three tri triplets. Named optional. Because our parents weren't very creative with names. That's how I'm reading that. I wonder how many triplets there are in the world. At least three. Increase Satan, Mother, and the rest of that one. So. So, what am I supposed to kill? It's killed bystanders. Bystanders. Not very specific there. So, who are the. Oh, the bystanders. They're over. Oh, those guys? Is that a bystander? Vulnerable bystander. I get it now. Don't kill him yet. I'm not even gonna look at him. Okay, I'll say it. You've met triplets before. I've never met triplets. I've met plenty of twins, but never triplets. Bystander would be the perfect target to frame the guards. Set a different hair color. As they change the colors, they can tear them, tell them apart. Kill. Click the Hobo kill. The bloodthirsty. Hobo is the only one who clicked the kill. Bystander crumbles to the ground with a swift uh, swipe of your blade. It's, dirty. it's 200 experience. 200, you say? Yeah, it's 200, so that means 600 total if we're lucky. I mean, that's a good chunk of experience. I mean, that'll get us, you know, then 6,000, or right around 6,000 experience away from next level. It's a good thing there's no th such thing as negative experience. They call that level drains. That don't exist in this game, really. So, another bystander. Who wants to kill this one? Jeff? Hello? Oh, well. <laughs> no hesitation. We're just here for moral support. We don't condone his actions. We just can. We just uh, here for moral support. Two. Just have to find the last one. 
They don't show up on the map, do they? And Hobo's not going to need any witnesses this time. See, that's what you're supposed to do with Hobo. By the way, Hobo, if you're talking, we can't hear you. And when the ricochets off with an arcane burst, bystander spins towards you, magical fire spinning in their hands. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, that was a, that's just going to be a little issue. Yes. Look sorry. at his name. Not so vulnerable. <laughs> I don't know. I think he's kind of getting his just rewards. Who, Hobo or the Bystander? Yes. Yes, okay. It will be a better kill. Oh, we're actually not that far from it, looks like. Finally, a worthy opponent. Our battle will be legendary. <laughs> and a character named Ricochet, but I forget. Oh, character named Ricochet. I get it. A fine stroke. So he's going to put up a little bit of a fight. Oh, Shay, what is that? Scottish last name? Uh, gotcha. Irish, I think. Oh. It's not disappointed. No, I just never know which is which. Usually if it's the O, oh, it's, it's uh, Irish. Vampire touch. He missed. You like it? Oh, I was trying to get away. I'm gonna run into the witch's house. Probably knows well. Wow. What? Although it's not a he, it's a she. Wow. One point, because you missed. Critical miss. And resistant to fire. Yeah. Cut her off, Jeff. She's coming your way. Not very good at those vampiric touches. Yeah. Oh, I should run the wrong way. She's toast. Is this going to make us look bad killing somebody so close to the camp? Probably. It's behind the tent. 
technically outside of the camp. <laughs> Let me use the shadow dagger. Good shot. Good shot. Okay. Oh, she's worth more. 725, so that might be 200 or whatever it was. That's a lot of loot. It is. Oh, uh, ring. Yeah, it's gonna be the disruptor, not the disruption, but uh, uh, negative energy, I think. I think that's what that one is. Fire resistance. Fine, make me look bad. I'm fire resistant to one set ring. Sure. I'll take it. Oh, I'm fair. Oh, does anybody want this periapt of health? It's uh, immune to disease. I don't think I really need it. Just using the Gemma scene anyway. Might be better. I don't know. Short rest? Sure. I think we can still join the uh, Chosen of Gabmordian. Do we want to? I mean, more quests? Mm, sure. More help to get out of here. Yeah. Let me just keep you small. Just misses Gimpy. Say again? Just misses Gimpy. Yeah, as far as I can tell. I can't see if she's carrying it. She's not carrying anything. As far as I can tell. As far as... She wasn't walking slow enough. Okay, so... Um, what are we doing next? Chosen. Got Morgans. Oops. Just find ways to increase mutter unrest to fuel the riot. There may be trade offs between keeping the fighting force strong and riling them up. Can we rile up them up some more through the bartender stuff? What's the stuff you can do with the bartender? That was the little speech that uh, we were doing earlier. Oh, yeah, right. Can sell stuff. No op option to say it. Come on, anything, no. uh, you pansy, get we'll back in here and fight. Of the bar that uh, started the, the speech. It's not glowing anymore. Yeah, so that means it's done. So are you supposed to get them riled up then? Valiant. Increase the unrest. Find ways to increase the unrest to the riot. There may be trade-offs. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I think so we did it all already. Probably. Maybe when we talk with the intelligence officer or the, the leader, maybe there's some new stuff. That's right. Yeah, we're supposed to talk to them, aren't we? So we want to talk uh, for It's supposed to get the or the indication for how much how weakened they got. Right. So we can go talk to them and see. And then if it's more stuff and go talk to the cult too and see what they have for us to do. All set? 
Yep, I'm good. Yep. Okay, no more talking. Intelligence officer and those oh Oh we can camp in here too. Probably not gonna be a bad idea. Looks like we did that over the line. How fair is the rebellion? Tensions are strong and ready to blow. The fighting force could be stronger, but it is capable. Let's get the Chosen to join. Um, I don't think that's what they'll go for, but we can try. Important planning to do, should we wonder... Should we wonder is the state of the mutters, both their strength and the we just did that. When you begin your assault with the garrison, my spy keeping watch in the gate will rile at the right and support behind you. Rest and turn the cult, I guess. It seems like you shouldn't be able to do both. Donating a soul fragment to their cause. How many more soul fragments do we got? I don't know. I guess we can find that out once we're done here. Because isn't there that one dude you can talk to to figure out how many soul fragments you got? Yeah, back at the, the mother camp. Okay, I'm ready to camp. You guys are standing right on top of each other. I can tell if they're not here or not. So short. Charged up. Undignified, but necessary. Just click on the door when you get there. I don't have to do it. So, Appraisers of souls. I am a person. Never mind. Read around. Let's take a look at the soul fragments. We have nine. Oh. So we got a couple. We got a few. We have enough for two camps at least. Yep. Okay. So and one to spare for the. Uh, Oh. Mm. Need to talk to Skippy, we'll be back in a minute or two. She's calling to check on Rocket. <laughs> Skip. I would assume they would call you guys.
Okay, Rocket's doing well. He had three extractions, and Mr. Skimpy's got to pick him up before 4.30, so approximately two hours or so. Less than two hours. You can go pick him up now. Will she? Probably. For those of you who know, Rocket was getting his teeth cleaned today. Lucky. <laughs> Three tooth extraction doesn't sound like a cleaning to me. Well, it well they go in and they clean the teeth, and as they're cleaning the teeth, if um, if the teeth look at, to be in bad shape when they go in, or when they're taking a look at the teeth, like something whatever might be wrong with the tooth, they they extract it to make sure it doesn't cause infections and other bad stuff in the future. So. Humans usually split it out, usually get your teeth cleaned, and then they, they go, oh, come back in so we can, you know, take the teeth out, that kind of stuff. Because usually, humans don't usually get it done, you know, everything in one day, but with dogs, they can. So, yeah, we're, oh, sorry, prepare you for something, something. Yeah, start quest. Oh, we could attack him, shit. Excellent. Basic entry in the Chosen costs one soul fragment. As a sign, you value the eternities over the remnants of your mortal life. Do we want to do the quest, or do we want to kill him? We need more followers to fight. But these guys aren't going to be followers, I don't think. These guys are followers of the devil that's, improved, that's taken our soul fragments. Isn't another one, a Kindraft, the one that's uh, holding our uh, contract? So maybe we can play each other. Uh, I honestly don't know. I don't remember how that was supposed to go. Reach into your pack and pull out a fragment. Stuff, stuff. The door's not open to you. I'm sure you will find our brothers and sisters most welcoming. What do you think they're, I think they're going to try to kill us. Should you wish to gain access to the next level of enlightenment, we will require you to prove that you pay... Hey, that you put no gods above Gavmordian. It's going to be hard for our cleric to do, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I heard rumors of a shrine to various abominable gods ar arising recently. Purge its influence in this land, and you will prove your loyalty to our lord. Experience. Miss can you talk to me again? Yeah. Okay, just a second. Careful of clicking on people while sneaking.
Okay, nobody heard that, right? <laughs> oh, heard nothing. Okay, good. Because she, because she ends the conversation with, "Now you're going to tell everyone." I go, "No, I'm not." <laughs> so I can't tell you. So anyway, so what were we doing? I saw something up on the screen. There's a door here. There's a merchant here. And a named one. And we're supposed to be joining that chosen. Track the chest. Desecrate the shrine. So, Ravenius, we, can we talk to this guy? Ah, uh, you must be the new member of the inner circle. I've heard word of your deeds. Purging this land of that abhorrent shrine. Maybe we did it already? If you're new to us, we know who is in charge, whatever pays best. We know who's in charge. Be smart. Suggest lukewarm porridge for the entire Kiki family for dinner with uh, a touch of sugar. Oh, this sounds disgusting, Jeff. Gabordian is boss, and he has claim on our eternal souls. Might as well embrace the inevitable. Oh, it's the same, huh? Uh, it was Kindraf and Lieutenant? I guess. Or, uh, here, wiser we're, you're here, wiser words you will not. That is the first key lesson we teach our new brothers and sisters. I'm not the least bit surprised about your rapid ascension in our ranks. Really? Yeah. But I digress. I was admits contemplating a likely breakthrough on our my latest ritual. I'm afraid this is all the same. I'm saying this is all the time I have today to chat. That is, unless, of course, you come across an interesting ritual to share. I'm always looking to expand my repertoire in servitude of Gabmordia. In the meantime, please not be shy. Show yourself around. Speak with your brothers and sisters. Learn from their wisdom. Read from our library and prepare for a glorious eternity in servitude of our Lord. Yeah, I don't think these guys are going to really help us. Did the merchant have anything good? I got boots of first strike. Yeah. I mean, we can see what quests and XP we can accumulate here and then launch the attack. Has anybody talked to these cultists over here? Welcome to the Chosen. It's only been eight days since I saw the light, and I can already feel the warmth that got more than watching over me. I didn't know. Mr. Souls, you know, all these soul fragments we are collecting a lot of power, our Lord. I would end up. I would end this pointless endeavor and join him immediately. There's a Havasack at, at the vendor if anyone needs one. I have one. It's a pleasure to welcome the members of the inner circle. If you need quality gear to help them out the through the collection of souls, be sure to speak to the man across from me. If you're finding our community wrenching to both the body and soul, you guys aren't doing anything here. Remember, you should seek access to the inner circle. You need to prove your loyalty by desecrating the shrine to the gods. To kill them, or we're gonna leave. We can check out that shrine first. Oh. Uh, oh, that's right. We can't open this door until we kill the shrine. So, let's go kill the shrine. Haversack is quite expensive. Is it? It's pretty much most of our money. I oh, don't worry about it then. Okay, Jeff is done. Door already, so let's go.
Barracks that are called hideouts. Barracks. Six jungle. Where is this thing supposed to be? Is it here? I assume it's probably in the jungle. This does get to prove your devotion. You need to wide right. So. Yeah, I think I saw a shrine in the jungle. Okay. I can't remember where it was. Off we go. A certain short person to step in the blue square. I don't know who it is. I just know it's a short person. It was Jeff. It could have been you, and it's still I wouldn't be able to tell you apart. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> just you know, just saying. Height challenged. Sure. Vertically challenged. Vertically challenged. I think that's the correct one. It's vertically challenged. Entrance to initiation chambers. That would be probably the one we want to go to, I think. I think. I don't know anymore. I think it is. Oh, we did it already. Did we? I don't remember. I don't remember either. What's up? That's, is that the shrine? I don't know. That, that's nothing cool. No, I guess. Picky things there. Yeah, that's not a shrine. That's just an obelisk. I guess it technically could be a shrine. We'll go in here and see what happens. Watch out for the traps. Tarps. So, we have been in here, I think. And we've been in. Yep. Yeah, Seems I was to be the control station to activate the portal. Oh, that's right. This is the portal to get out of here. Uh, it's the portal place, right. That's right. Then we've been here. So this isn't the shrine. Should I click on the door? Yeah. It's not the shrine 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 we are looking for. What is that? Where does it where is it then? Giants camp? No, we've been up there too. Abandoned camp. No, it's not a shrine. I don't know. Who knows? Maybe Hurricane was right. Maybe it. Triggers uh, an encounter once you get close to that obelisk. I know usually it's associated with clicking it though, so. Yeah. Well, I'll run up to it. Yeah, let's go see. So, where's it gonna happen? Nothing. Yeah, let's see. Mask engaged. Mask engaged. Vern, Vern, Vern. Maybe he really doesn't like that mask thing. Maybe it's this over here. 
Aztecs. A little pyramids. Oh, mm, might be. Is there anything clickable? I'm looking. Oh, there is. Right to your left. But it might be a... No, no, it's not showing up as storage, so... Yeah, and that obelisk to your left, Hobo. Yep, right there. Don't click it yet. Jeff is coming. Oh, wait, I'm already there. Click away. Oh, we're not all here, though. There we go. Detect the magical signature of a soul fragment in this burial mount. Now look at that roll. Why is this mound half complete? Let's get the fragment and move on. Still. Get my close. Given the amount of effort put into these mounds, they wouldn't be abandoned lightly. A lot of corpses in these fields look fairly fresh too, especially for this wet environment. Abandoned uh, facilities, half-finished work, and corpses everywhere could this all be connected. It must be. The chess pieces in the Pantheon of Gods are moving, and that doesn't bode well for pawns like us. Let's get that fragment and get out of here. It takes the four of you, but you shift a few large stones, uh, leading, uh, reaching the burial chamber. Ooh. Ooh. Amulet of pure souls. Amulet of pure souls requires attunement. Resistance to necrotic damage is halved. Disadvantage on charisma deception ability checks. Mm -hmm. Try an ID. Snugger. Long sword plus one. Oh, yeah, it's just a plus one. Anybody want it? Sure. Okay, give it to you, Anyone want the Amulet Pure Souls? Product damage is halved. This advantage on charisma checks. This deception ability check. Charisma checks. So you can't be very deceptive. Did you give me the longsword? I did give it to you. I don't see it in my inventory. I guess the wrong small purse. It's a uh, it's top row on your inventory as far as I see it. I don't oh, see do it you think my inventory does not show that. Okay. Let's uh, reload down. Maybe you're the person I've been getting that message from all day, waiting for player. Maybe. Maybe. I think it's your fault. Wait a minute, didn't you just get a new con connection done or something? Weren't you the person yeah. who said that? Ah. Uh, so it's not all the way uh, working yet? Or I'm too fast. T too fast? Right. Yes, that's what it is. Too fast. They got fiber now in the boonies? Yes. Surprising. Not you really. Don't care about the city. <laughs> don't care about the city. It's easier to run fiber in the boonies because nobody seems to care. Well, you just yeah, gotta tie it up to like various wild animals, and they'll naturally pull it across. I guess. Yeah, free labor. It's probably what Bob's been doing lately. That's why he's been so pissed about those friggin' uh, corn and bird feeders in Hobo's yard. And I had to pull fiber through this place, and all they give me is corn. <sighs> Anyway, do you have the long sword? <laughs> yes, it even do. still says magnificent, not plus one. Well, it still is it a plus one. Before I did? Uh, I, I did after, actually. They finally have fiber in the U.S. The boonies can't be that difficult to get. We've had fiber in the U.S. for a long time. Long time. I remember running fiber back in in the hospital I was working at back in the 95, 96. So we've had fiber oh. for a little while. 
Running fiber in a building is a little bit different from running fiber for outside. I know, but the reason we had fiber in the building is because we had a fiber connection coming into the building. <laughs> so. Oh, um, uh, how will you have right? that uh, peripod of the Master Enchanter? I would take that as long as I have nothing better. What? It's an amulet, I guess. The Master Enchanter amulet. Oh, sure. But boost yeah. up the crafting of the of that uh, two-handed sword. Oh yeah, that would help. Wouldn't it? Well, the rest? Oh sure. Still haven't found the, the temple or the shrine yet. Thought hope was, this was going to be it, but nope. That works retroactively, so the Doom Blade gets crafted faster. Right, in that case, I guess the world does need fiber in the US to test the bottom limit of an internet connection somewhere, somehow. <sighs> What's with the hate with the United States having fiber connection? Again, it's nothing new to us. Do you guys not? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Most of you are too young to even remember the whole, you know, you can hear a pin drop over the AT&T phone lines, do, are you? You're not, nobody's old enough really to remember that, most of you. Or did you? Bellion has accumulated relics to wide pantheon of gods. You must desecrate it to prove your devotion to Gim Morty. Might it be an item or? Must or Bellion. Maybe oh, we, we gotta must... go talk to the rebels. Yeah, the Rebellion hideout, maybe. Accumulated relics to a wide pantheon. Oh, maybe that's what it is. So it's a, it's a puzzle. So as I was saying, pin drop. AT&T over the phone lines. That was because they were so proud getting their fiber connections all the way across the continent. <laughs> and you could only hear the pin drop through a fiber line on the phone. You can't do that on friggin' uh, wireless phones today, but you can do it on uh, the regular phone lines. Supposedly. So yeah. Take your European fiber connections and drop some phone line or drop some pins on it. See what you hear. So where are we going? I think we're going back to the mutter encampment. Are we? Fast well, travel. Can you find anything here? No. I just wondering where we're running. So for telecommunications, it's national. Rather than the like I thought you guys are like power wise, like separate regions. Right. And the reason the telecommunications goes across the country is because it's um, mostly funded by the government, like the Internet and everything. That's all it was originally a government uh, operation. And the fiber lines were primarily um, AT&T, which is the phone company. Actually, it might have been Ma Bell, actually, before AT&T kicked in. So... And AT&T is completely national, or is it they, more for what particular region or address? AT&T is everywhere. Because it, it was AT&T is actually the leftovers of the of Ma Bell, which was the the big... Ma Bell was actually a collection of the phone companies that was all over the continent. And they get... Well, actually, they were, they were, it was split up. And... Uh, because of monopoly reasons, and but the AT and T was the the main Ma Bell company to survive, and they basically picked up all the all the the responsibilities for getting the fiber lines run. So, hey, Greg, your dad used to work for Ma Bell. Yeah, a lot of people did. Ma Bell was a huge. I mean, it's it was it's national. It's it's national telecommunications. So. T-Pad telephone connections didn't translate to sensible internet providers. They did. <laughs> there were sensible internet providers. And by sensible, it was you pay. I mean, that's what they, they actually came out of that somewhat. 
it, the problem was is um, the phone lines weren't able weren't able to compete with the cable lines, and that's that's the real issue. It's not the phone companies that were bad for internet connect for, for as internet providers. It's the cable companies because they're so stupid, so freaking greedy. Because they they expand, they're just more than just communications. They're also the TV lines too, and it's just uh, it, it's messed up. Belcorn, South Central Bell. Yeah, there are, for here it was Pacific Bell, here in the West Coast. Again, they were, they were just the, the, what happened to Ma Bell when it got the, broken up. And then AT&T was the survivor. And they're barely surviving. <laughs> That's the thing, is it just, uh... You have a download limit on the cable. I know. Tell me about it. And that's a cable company. That's not a telecommunication pro thing. That is a cable company. And it used to be unlimited. And then they changed it a couple of years back. And then they, they suspended it during the COVID thing for the last couple of years. But then once the COVID crisis has been deemed as being over... Everybody's gone back to their normal business practices using the whole stupid limited uh, downloads and stuff like that for that, which makes no sense. Well, it makes perfect sense. They can charge more. Well, yeah, they're greedy. Well, see, this is the, the whole, the cable companies have run into the whole problem with uh, with all the streaming services out there. People have learned that you don't need to pay hundreds and hundreds of dollars for cable service, cable TV service, when you can just pick and choose the stuff that you want. That customer has been asking from the cable companies for decades is, I don't want all these channels. I just want these channels. Why can't I get that? And they go, oh, that doesn't work that way, blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, guess what? When those all these paid services have come out, people are going, screw you, <laughs> cable company. I just want internet service. And the cable company goes, well, shit, how are we going to make our money? Oh, this is how we'll make our money. We're going to charge them for data. And that's it. So the poor shareholders, yes. The shareholders should be demanding better business, business practices from these companies. It's ridiculous. Internet providers are under. Oh, I know they are. I don't disagree. Can I thank you enough for all you've done? There's nothing more to need, says the medic. Oh, we're supposed to be asked talking to. No. Yeah, I don't see anything here. There's nothing to desecrate, right? The charter probably the worst of it for many reasons. Everyone says that about the provider. Oh, no, no, those are the doors we came in. Is there? There's not a vendor here, right? It's just the medic. The medic, the intelligence officer, and the lady that tells us to talk to the intelligence officer. So, so yeah, this is probably not it. Hmm. Wonder if we're supposed to kill him. Oh, what about Laurel? No, that's the leader, isn't it? Laurel. Maybe it's something surface side that we haven't seen yet. You don't mind being on your knees, Possibly. Because yeah, this area isn't that big. They're in your provider, but you know, yeah, that's how you know. Yeah, all telecommunication providers, it's all crap. It's because they know you need them, and they take advantage it, of it. Yeah, they make it very convenient to get offers, buy stuff. But then if you need any sort of support or you want to cancel it or anything like that, then, oh my god. Yeah, I know, yeah. Person in your immediate family who hasn't worked in telecoms. Are you proud or embarrassed? <laughs> is, that the real is that the question? Are you proud of that or are you embarrassed that you haven't done it? Can't say. It's working in telecoms is overrated. Yeah, 
Yeah, I don't know what to do anymore. Maybe it's just time for us just to hit the fortress, I guess. Unless anyone can think of something. I'm trying to think what we... Desecrate the shrine to the gods. We keep which we don't know where that is. The Mud of Rebellion. They're going to join in once we assault, start our assault. We tried to increase the unrest. I'm guessing that's supposed to do it. Let's the shrine. I have no idea where it is. Anyway. Shall we begin our assault? Well, unless the shrine was in that weird building that we were at before, that one where there's nothing in it. Oh. Didn't even think about that. Um, it really comes to mind. Was that on this map? Yeah, I'm clicking on it now. One sec. Witch hut or garrison building? What were we going? This is um, the, the other, middle of the area, pretty much. It's the other rock area. Oh, there's that yeah, stupid yeah. little room where we saw there was nothing in it. This might be it. And now there's something you could do there. Is there? It sure is. So this is it. Okay. Desecrate. This is the spot the cult recruiter talked about. Desecrate it. Desecrate it. Quickly and efficiently leave behind a wake of blood, feces, and smashed pottery. Really? Feces? Was that really necessary? Well, it's all bodily fluids. That wasn't me. Sure, it wasn't. It was leftovers from the killed bystanders. Yes, that's it. Dead used to have an old mounted telephone switch mechanism. That'd be kind of cool to see. Oh, you don't have it anymore. Ugh. Okay. Now do you want to go back to the cult and talk to them and see how they see yep, that? That's where we're supposed to go. Hey, there's a fast travel. Yes, there is. Hey, Gimpy. <laughs> It is time to take a break. But the character is busy. Not from taking a break either. Your next break is in one hour. So he's still busy. That'll work though. Okay, take a break and then talk to them about this. Sounds good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, need, I need to check with Miss Gibby soon when she's going to go and get rocket. So, anyway, going to get up, stretch your legs, get some water, that kind of thing. We'll be back in a few minutes. Thank you all very much for watching. Enjoy the dog video.